Hi, Brian. I recently got asked this by a colleague and wanted to know your thoughts on the issue. Is it less expensive, more expensive, or approximately the same expense to own and use a fountain pen versus a rollerball pen or a Pilot G2, G2 or something similar? I said it was less expensive based off the usage of my Twisby 580 and Noodler's Black after about 30 weeks. I know it's dependent on a lot of different variables, so we assumed a rollerball lasted two months and that the fountain pen needed refilled bi-weekly. Okay, so this is really gonna depend on a lot of different things. As you mentioned, the cost of the fountain pen that you're buying, the cost of the roller pens that you're buying, um, you know, the consumption rate that you're going through is gonna make a huge difference. Um, the type of ink that you're buying, because ink can vary in price quite a bit. The type of paper that you're using regularly, because a more absorbent paper is going to use more fountain pen ink than a less absorbent one. So all of those things are gonna come into play. So I'm gonna, just gonna speak kind of generally here. Um, in general though, for the ink consumption alone, you're paying a significant premium for gel rollerball ink, okay? Even for ballpoint ink, you're actually paying a premium. For the amount of ink that you're actually getting, for the use you're getting out of it, you're paying much more for that ink than you would for fountain pen ink. Now that said, you have the investment of the pen, whatever cleaning supplies, your time, and all that kind of stuff. So there's a reason that fountain pens are not the most dominant used writing instruments today, right? There's a reason that ballpoints and gel roller balls are a lot more popular. They're just a lot more convenient, right? Um, that's, they're just, uh, for the strict utility sake, you know, they're a lower cost up front to buy them. You can buy them in bulk and they make them in bulk, which then makes them less expensive because they're making them in bulk and so on. So as far as the pens go, it's like not a debate. Gel and ballpoints are cheaper. However, over the long haul, if you're sticking with a reliable fountain pen and using it for a long period of time, you will come out ahead. Um, that, now that said, if you're like me and you get the fountain pen bug and you end up buying a hundred or more fountain pens, obviously it is not going to save you any money. Um, same thing goes with ink. If you fall in love with ink or paper or whatever and you end up just getting a whole collection of it and you end up with 50 bottles of fountain pen ink that you could never use even if you wrote every single day for the rest of your life, well, that's just the kind of thing that, you know, it's like any other hobby. Like the more you get into it, it's not, it doesn't necessarily become strictly for the cost savings. But if that is your goal to strictly just save money on writing, you can do that with fountain pens. Yes, absolutely you can.